so damn nerdy. I'll take you to the comic shop. I'll show you all the bills I drop. The when I grab my bonus box. The wins is when the comics drop. Whoa. I'll take you to the comic shop. Boy bands are what I thought. I'll keep spending all I got. Keep reading till the series. How long the point? Is that what you want? Stanley. Stanley, you start with a zucchini and then you add a true believer sauce. Um, Harlequin. Yeah, Harlequin. Same thing, all eggheads. Same thing. So it's pretty much the same as Batman. <laughs> uh, Smaller nose, bit of a ski slope thing going on here. Same kind of smile as the Joker. Kind of big eyes like the Joker. This part of the eye and this part of the eye are at different points, so it's a little bit of an almond shape. Smaller chin. Right? And then these things. Right? So again, it's all about uh, proportions and negative space, and really the kind of the, the basic shapes you're creating to add detail onto. Once you have this, you can almost go an infinite number of ways of rendering this out, um, but you still have the kind of core essence of what you're drawing. So before I show you uh, the thing about eyelashes, so that's what I'm going to do here. And the thing with uh, a lot of these characters is uh, you can tell when people are smiling or just looking at their eyes. Uh, I don't know if she's looking. <laughs> uh, so if you can do a good job with just the eyes, you're, you're more than halfway there. Same thing with the nose, we're just going to draw the nose by drawing the shadows of the uh, elements. Some of this I'm sketching kind of loosely because I know I'm going to go back in with the, uh, the thick marker. Soon? Do I find a better what? Oh, I, I, no, I, when I ink for real, uh, when they pay me, I, I don't ink like this. <laughs> That's why this, the books are so late. Um, when I work at home, I literally, this is how fast I draw. It makes for very boring panels. So, um, just drawing faster. So it's, it's an approximation of my kind of final style. But really, it's uh, probably moving at about three or four times the speed at which I would normally draw. I started drawing when I was like five years old. I had an art tutor uh, that this woman would come to the house and teach me how to draw. She's got her shoulders up, just, I don't know, she's doing something terribly acute, I'm not sure what. <laughs> she draws like a kitten on coming out of here. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we used to draw in oil pastels when I was like five, and I took art classes in high school and summer school. And um, you know, I think I drew better than a lot of my peers or you know, people my age, but I wouldn't, see, if you look back on my drawings back in the day, uh, you know, you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily think that I could make a career of, of it. A lot of it is just practice and drawing stuff like this I've done so often. Um, it's almost like a, a very, very elaborate signature, you know?
But yeah, I always loved comic books. Uh, when we moved from the United States when I was five or so, and I didn't speak any English, and I learned how to read from comic books. I knew uh, the first kid on the block of me what uh, Excelsior meant. And, uh, <laughs> What side is black? This left side or right side? My right or her right? Her, her right? Okay. Thank you. Well, my uh, my father was a uh, he was an anesthesiologist and. And I'm Korean American, and like most Asian families, we really wanted to be a doctor, you know. And if I couldn't do that, settle for being a lawyer. <laughs> if I could do that, oh, you'd be an engineer. Uh, and I chose to draw people flying through the air. Um, <laughs> So it's almost like those, those fine lines I had that were guidelines for uh, what I was going to do later. No, I just wanted to uh, make sure I had the right lift. <laughs> Most difficult area to draw? Uh, back sides. Like, when you get to... Uh, right. I can follow that, okay. Got a little bit of shadow, right? That's that muscle, or that indentation of the spine is. And then you have the spinal blade and then the shoulder blades. And then you come down here and it's like there's no man's land. I'm like, what the <laughs> heck? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, it's, it gets confusing over here. And that's why people wear capes. Further things away, the less detail you can draw, so you only have to draw only, only shadows. But then you add some detail so that people know that kind of what they're looking at. And I squint while I'm doing this, so it's almost like an overexposed photo, and you can kind of just see the highlights. I don't know what it is. Anyway, <laughs> I thought it was going somewhere. <laughs> uh, I think this is right answer. This is black over here. Do I do what? Yeah, draw it off. I, I enjoy drawing buildings. Like, uh, it's the same thing. <laughs> you guys are like, he's going to draw a building? Get me out of here. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to 
So these lines here, again, create gray values, but they're also decorative. They, they create visual interest. So you'll see them sometimes, if, but you don't want to go too crazy with it because you're creating gray value. If there's gray value, that means there's a shadow. So you have to be kind of judicious in, in where you put those lines, but they do create energy and they create some movement and uh, it's, it's more of a modern, they don't do it so much in the older Golden Age, Silver Age stuff, but a lot of the more modern comments of the their habits. Does anyone have a red marker? I've done red lipstick before, but I don't want to see if it's red marker. I don't want to run your... How about the love note to your wife on your on the program? <laughs> yeah. Every issue of Superman on Chain has a secret message to my wife. It says, we're out of ramen. Okay. Gosh. Um, Whoever has uh, a pair of superhero themed shoes. Oh, I do. is on.